What's up everyone? So this is Adrian. I'm back with my 2004 F-150. I ordered a Raptor liner kit from Amazon to do a spray and bed liner myself. Here's all the stuff that came with it. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's not all the stuff that came with it. This is what came with the kit. So it came with a hardener, four bottles of the liner, and a little mixer cup or pour cup, measure cup, whatever it's called. And it also came with a gun that drops into the bottles. Um, I picked up some super clean purple degreaser stuff so I can degrease the bed before I sand and after I sand. A new air hose only because mine's leaking from my compressor. So far as take off my plastic bed cast which just snapped off a couple, or they just pop off, but a couple of the mounts were super brittle so they actually broke off and I watered down the top half because there was dirt all collected underneath it. I also bought some Rust-Oleum Primer Adhesion Promoter, Rust-Oleum Primer Self Etching Primer. That did not come with the kit, I just got this at AutoZone, about seven bucks a can. So Adhesion Promoter is actually just gonna, you're gonna put it on the hard to reach areas and places where you can't sand down super good. It's just gonna help promote adhesion, exactly what the name is called. And on these plastic guardrails, obviously I can't really sand these down or make them scuffable uh, too much. So I'm gonna line those with Adhesion Promoter first before I spray them with liner. Self etching primer. So my truck's old, right? So there's a ton of scratched up parts that are already down to bare metal. Pretty much after we sand down the entire bed, we're gonna spray a self etching primer on all the parts that are down to bare metal. I may need to run and get even another can, but we'll see. And then that'll help uh, give it something to grab onto. We don't wanna just spray the Raptor liner straight onto bare metal or else it's not really gonna stick on there perfectly. Bought a little cheap $20 sander from Walmart. Some sanding pads some Scotch-Brite pads. I also bought this little wire cut brush from Harbor Freight just to help get into some of these grooves that I can't get into. And then the Scotch-Brite pads kind of do the same thing. All right, so step number one, I just went ahead and hosed out the bed, took off my bed rail caps because I actually want to try to spray those as well. So I'm gonna set up the GoPro, get started, and spend as much time as I need to prep the bed. little drill bit attachment with the metal brush but I think that if I would have just used a piece of sandpaper in my hand first I probably could have got to a lot of those areas as well so if I were to do it again I'd probably start with the orbital hit all the flat surfaces get everywhere pretty much that little thing can reach and then after that just go to town with a piece of sandpaper fold it in half and use your hand and I think that was probably the fastest most effective method that um, I ended up using so the scotch bright pads and the little drill brush yeah they I mean they worked in some areas but I think I could have gotten to most of them with my hand and a piece of sandpaper. So here is what it looks like. I already wiped a little bit and used the uh, air compressor to blow off all the extra dust. So your entire bed should pretty much look like a white powdery substance look. My bed was super, super scratched up to start with. So I didn't have a whole lot of like clear coat to rub off. I literally, like 20% of my paint was already gone. So I'm gonna degrease it again, and I think the next step is gonna be to start spraying. Well, I got, I'm gonna tape off. So I got some plastic sheet and some tape, so I'll tape everything off that does not need bed liner. And then I think after that, we'll start mixing and spraying. So bear with me. I'm kind of following the instructions and going along. This is my first time trying to rhino line or bed line anything out of an actual spray gun. I've always used like little cans for pieces of frame or fender well or something like that, but I've never actually tried to use it on, a, on an actual truck bed. So let's uh, get this thing cleaned up and keep moving. I pulled the truck back in the garage into the shade. It's completely dry now after degreasing it. I'm gonna go through and start spraying some of the self-etching primer, some of the adhesive promoter, and then let that dry. But first, I have a little part of my bed that the top is actually like flared out, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna take some pliers and see if I can bend it back. This is under the plastic cap, so it's actually pushing the cap out. So before I start spraying, I figured bend it back down a little bit as best as we can. I guess it can't get worse than it already was. 
There we go. I would say good as new, but it's not. <laughs> but it's flat and it's there. The cover actually folds over this lip, so once that's right aligned, hopefully it just covers up that lip because I bent it a little bit further in. Um, I think I had one on the other side too. Yep, one more right here. Oh, that one, was, that one was way easier. That went down perfectly. So that one's gone. And that's all I see that I can. There's one right here, but I don't know how it would get back there. Maybe I can hit it down with a mallet. Let me try hitting it with a mallet. I don't want to mess anything up, but let's try with a mallet. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, it went down a lot more than I thought it was going to, considering I was just gonna leave it. Not too bad. If the bed was off of the cab, I could pull it back down, but that's not too bad. I don't want to get too crazy and save money on the bed line I drop and then break my back window, so. I think I'm happy with it right there. So that worked out. All right, so I'm gonna get started uh, spraying the self-etching primer. And keep on moving along. I, I'm hoping to get this done in one day. I didn't wanna have to split it up between two days. So I'll feel accomplished if I can get this done by tonight. I literally was shaking up the can of self-etching primer and I was getting ready to go to town and then I realized I didn't tape anything off yet. So that would have sucked, just getting over spray everywhere. So I'm gonna stop for a second, tape everything off and then jump to that step. So I got a little bit more work ahead of me. Looking like after a 12 ounce can of self etching primer. So I went through all the big deep grooves that had a bare metal showing and pretty much lined them with some primer. Is this the right way to do it? I'm not 100% sure. I didn't claim to be a professional, just so everybody knows. I just wanted to do this myself, save some money, and uh, see how it comes out. This is what I think is supposed to help make it stick to the bare metal parts and last a little bit longer. And then next thing we're gonna do is spray some of this adhesion promoter um, over some of the areas that are going to be tough to get to so I'll definitely use it on the plastic um, side caps and then spray it over probably the bolts um, some of the top edges that were a little tough to sand and the corners and I think that should help it stick there as well once it's all dry we will uh, get started so so far I just taped off and, and masked off the sides the cab the other side I still got to mask off a little bit more on the back side, um, but we should be able to get started here pretty soon. Well, halfway done. I'm pretty much done with prep, so we'll get to spraying here soon. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys, what a super long day. That was honestly a lot more work than I was prepared for or expecting it to be. Um, I'm done. I Sorry my GoPro died kind of in the middle, so if that part of the video sucks, my bad. But it's done. I pulled the truck out. I popped on the caps, um, the side caps, because they were pretty dry. Didn't take too much force to put them on. So I pulled off the tape. It's sitting outside so it can start the drying process. But here's how it looks. I'm glad I at least did it one time. I'd probably do another one if I ever bought another truck. Um, it really changes like the look of the truck, man. It made the whole back half look so much newer. Obviously a lot more functional. Um, it's gonna protect the bed from scratches. Honestly, I bought a truck with a full functional bed because I'm going to use it. So um, it's nice just knowing that it's protected. There's something for us to go sit on, put some chairs back there, coolers, junk, whatever else. I think the cheapest you can get this done in town is like between $450 to $600. It was worth the saving. Picked up a few new tools, picked up some skills, and hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any questions about any part of my process, make sure you leave a comment below and I will try to answer it the best I can. Again, I'm not a professional, so don't take my advice um, You know, 100%, do your own research and whatnot. But this was the Raptor liner kit that I got off Amazon. Took about a week to get here. It was pretty easy to use. Came with the gun, so that was awesome because I'm no painter, so I don't have any kind of gun that would work for that. My air compressor, my home air compressor worked, worked great. I just got a Husky compressor. There's the specs in case you guys were wondering. I had to wait a couple of times to let the air compressor fill back up and it did get super hot. So obviously my compressor is probably the bare minimum that you need to 
be able to spray this stuff out of the gun. But it ended up working out great. Um, I used all four bottles. I know some people have used less, but maybe just because I didn't know what I was doing, I sprayed on too thick. But I ended at like three and a half bottles, and then the half, the last half of the fourth bottle, I just used to kind of go do, go over everything, almost like a third coat, um, because I was doing a really big sweeping overlay pass. So I almost did two coats um, the first time. I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what else I should do to my F-150. Remember, I got two F-150s, both 2004. I have a single cab pre-runner with the 4.6 that we have long travel suspension on. And then I have the 2004 red extended cab four wheel drive with the 5.4. So I'm trying to go a different route with this truck and make it for work, kind of an explore vehicle and take advantage of the four wheel drive. Let me know what you guys think I should do. So far we did the leveling kit, wheels and tires, just tinted the front windows, the spray and bed liner, and uh, we'll see what's next.